In reading today, I'm going to start with the slide from yesterday, and we're just going to work on it together as a group. You don't need to be doing anything on Seesaw right now. When it's time for you to be on Seesaw, I'll let you know what your task is, okay? So yesterday, we talked about a really special girl. Her name was Lily Kay, and she was important because why? Why did we read about her yesterday? We're going to have a conversation looking for friends who are ready. Day, what did we read about her? She helped make a new law. That is so awesome that kids can be a part of that process. Who else had something important they wanted to share? Maberly. So the law was fifth graders and their family got to go to parks for free. Remember that? She created a law with her government. Angela? Um, I noticed that um, she helped to a new government. She helped work with her government. How did she, how did she start doing this? She had an idea. How did she get the government to actually make the law? Kaylee, how did she do that? You remembered a lot, Kaylee. Thank you. So first she looked up ideas. She did some research. She wanted to find out, can families get into parks for free? And she learned the answer was no. So first she thought of a problem. Then Libby, she thought of a solution. And she talked to the government. Kaylee said she went and talked to them in person. How else did she talk to her government? How did she tell the government, I see a problem. I think we have a solution to make it better. How else did she do that? Gloria, do you remember? So she talked with the governor, I think. Remember, he's in charge of the whole state. I think she talked to two people in the government. She talked to somebody in their Congress and she talked to the governor. But before she was invited, remember, they invited her to come speak. How did they know that this little fourth grader had an idea? How did the government know that they should invite her to come speak? Kaylee, what do you remember? I remember she they made ideas because she went up there, went up there and just told them and just made a speech from. Okay, so the first thing was she came up with her idea, and then the next step was she wrote a letter. She wrote a letter explaining her problem, explaining her solution. After the government read her letter, that's when they said, hey, this Lily K girl has a good idea. We should invite her over. We're going to invite her to the government and we're going to listen to her. So she used writing. She used writing to talk about this really important idea to her and her community. We get to do the same thing. We get to use writing to think about problems and solutions in our community, just like Lily Kay. So yesterday we looked at this slide on number six and we're gonna start here today. We're gonna talk together about ideas that can help our community, okay? Then today you're gonna be a writer just like Lily Kay and you're gonna start writing a letter. You're gonna start writing some information about an idea you're working on, just like Lily Kay. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. It says, think about these goals. Then discuss the question below with your class. What would you work on to improve in your community?
what would you work on to improve in our community? Remember the government has two main goals. They wanna keep us safe. They want to help us work together. So let's share out some ideas. How, how can our community improve? How could we make our community better? Think about your neighborhood. Think about Indian Creek. How can we try to keep people safe or help people work together? What are some ideas that you have? Nick, what are you thinking about? No more violence. So what's an idea to help with that? How could we improve it? Because it hurts people. So Nick is saying we need to do something about no more violence. No more violence. I'm going to make this smaller so we can fit more ideas. And that would go under keeping people safe, right? Think about your neighborhood. Think about your family. Think about our school. What are ideas you have? How could we work? What ideas do you have for our community to keep people safe or to help people work together? Maberly. Okay, so again, that goes with violence. I'm gonna switch my, there we go, that's better. So we want to make sure kids are safe. So how could we work on not kidnapping kids? How could we improve that? Maybe there's like a place where kids can go. Okay, so maybe like a, like an, a daycare where kids can be so they're safe. Okay, so maybe a daycare. Were you thinking the same thing? Awesome. So a daycare would help make sure that kids are safe so they're not kidnapped. Really good thinking. Angela, what are you thinking about? Um, I'm thinking um, clean up our school park. Cleaning up our playground area? Yeah. Are you talking about the outdoor lab too? Yeah. Okay. So, and that would go with people working together, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to clean clean our outdoor space. That could be our playground. Oh, I just noticed something. What do you notice? Um, you gave a capital letter. That's okay, Angela. I'm just gonna make a list, but you are correct. Sentences have capital letters. We have three ideas so far. Let's keep the ideas going. Kaylee, what can we do to improve our community? We put, um, shut the city. Ooh, clean up, not just, our school, but our city, our community. Are you thinking of anything specifically, Kaylee, when you say clean up our city? Pick up trash water trees, plant new trees, things like that. Okay, clean the city, I like it. Make sure there's nothing dirty on the street. That also keeps us safe, right? Uh, Nick, what are you thinking about? Follow the speed limit before no more kids won't get in the car yet. All right, are the, do you have any ideas for how people can follow the speed limit? Any ideas for how to make sure people do that? No ideas yet. Okay, so maybe that's a problem in our community and we don't have a solution yet. That's okay. We can identify problems and then think of solutions. Um, Haley, go ahead, Haley. I'm volunteer for the hospital. Oh, okay. Would that be keep people safe or work together? Keep people safe. Okay, volunteer at the hospital take care of people who are sick and need help. I love that idea. That's a good way to care for others. Gloria, you've been waiting. Go ahead, Gloria. Don't step on flowers. Don't step on flowers. Oh my gosh, is that keeping people safe or something that would help us work together? Yeah. You said work together, Gloria. Okay, so take care of plants and trees. Don't step on them. We got to take care of them. 
Maybe we feed them, water them. Day, go ahead. Follow the rules and laws. Okay, that's that's important too. That people follow the laws and rules. When people don't, that can create a problem, right, Day? Yes, I agree with that one. That's important. Um, Nick, go ahead. Don't hurt animals. Oh my gosh, is that keeping people safe or working together? Working together. And keeping people safe yeah, that's true. It's kind of both, right? So take care of animals. When we take care of animals, we take care of ourselves, right? Good. Let's kind of put that one in the middle. In the middle. All right, boys and girls, thank you for your ideas. We have shared lots of ideas about how we could improve our community. Libby and Maberly, your focus is on our group lesson, thank you. We've shared together some ideas. Today, your task is going to be thinking for yourself, thinking about a problem in our community or school, and I want you to be thinking of a solution. Think about the problem that Lily K thought of. She thought of a problem that families cannot go to parks, they have to pay money. Maybe some families don't have the money to pay to go to the park. That's the problem. So the solution was that the government gives free passes to the people. She thought of a way to fix the problem. You're going to do the same thing today in your writing. In your writing, you're going to share about a problem in our school or community and a solution. How can we make it better? How can we fix that problem? Just like Lily Kay did, you're going to share your ideas. That's where we're going to start today. We're not writing to the president. We're actually going to write to some local government to talk about our problems in our community because they know about our community and they know about our school. Okay, so let me go ahead and save my work here. You can be thinking of these ideas. You can use one of these ideas. If you have a different idea that you thought about yesterday, that's okay. This is your chance. This is your writing, your ideas. Okay, and I will make sure that you choose a really good idea that you can write about today. I'm going to save the work and then I'm going to help you find your task on Seesaw. Okay, we're ready to find our task for today. Please click on activities, assign to class folder, red, E-L-A, And it's called draft day. Today is a draft day. Remember a draft is a practice. It's the first thing you write. Okay, go ahead and open up our task. And go ahead to slide number one. Slide number one is where we're going to begin today. Kellen, sit in your seat. Um, give me one second. I need to see friends on their task ready to go. I feel like we're waiting a long time for the same people to be ready. This doesn't take three minutes. Thank you. On slide number one, it says choose one problem. Your job today is to identify a problem in our school 
or community. What's a problem? You have to be able to think of a solution. You can't just say a problem. You have to tell our government your idea for how we're going to fix it, just like Lily Kay did. So today your main job is to think of a problem and a solution that will help the problem. Then it says, give two reasons. What I mean by that is, why do you think your solution will work? What reasons can you tell the government to try to prove that you really do have this problem and you think your idea could help it? Lily Kay was able to convince the government. How did she convince them to make this law? Did she just say, hey, you should give us money so we can go to parks? How did she convince them? What kind of stuff did she say? What do you think, Nick? She said they stayed in the they just didn't have enough money to go to parks to run. So she gave a reason about how families can't go to these parks. Some families probably can't pay that. That's a reason, right? She gave them reasons. Why else, how else did she convince them? Why did she think it was important that the fifth graders and families went to the park? Was it just so we can have a vacation? What did she talk about, Gloria? She said, in our class, we learn about these parks. We learn about the history. So we should be able to go. One reason is families cannot pay for the park. Another reason is we learn about this in our class. We should get to go to these real places and see it for ourselves so we can learn more. She gave two good reasons. Maybe I'm not getting a lot of focus from you. Your job today is to think of your problem, write your solution, and think of two reasons that you can tell them. Explain your problem, explain your solution. I'm going to give you about five minutes to get started on slide number one, then we'll pause and do a check-in together on Zoom. Five quiet work minutes to think of problem, solution, and your two reasons. How are you going to convince them? Okay, you may go ahead and get started. So Libby and Maverly, we're going to do an example together. You're going to watch the example to see how I think about these things. So a problem that I see in our school Problem I see in our school is that we have some late buses. We have late buses. So waiting on a few friends to show focus so that you can see an example that you can work on your own. Libby, I don't see that you're ready to go watching an example. A problem that I identify in our school is that we have late buses. Every day we have some kids that have to sit in the hall while other kids go home. I don't think that's fair. I think that's a problem. So a solution I have a solution. I'm thinking of how can the government help this? So I'm thinking maybe the government can give more money to our school. 
um, so that we can pay for more buses. That's an idea I'm thinking of because I know that we pay taxes. I know that the government is collecting money from us. So I think that they should be able to buy more buses so that we don't have kids who have to sit in the hall after school. That's a problem I see and I'm trying to think of a way to fix it. So the government can give more money to school to pay for buses. Libby and Maberly, you are watching an example with me, then I can help individual students. So I thought of a problem, we have late buses, then I thought of a way that the government can fix it. The government can give more money to schools, let me change that. So we could get more money from the government and then we could pay for more buses. I'm going to add that to pay for more buses. So what are my reasons? I can't just call the government and say, we need more money. I have to give a reason. So let's see some reasons here. Okay, uh, one reason is, um, let's think of some good reasons that would really convince them. Um, I think I'm gonna tell them that we pay taxes. I'm gonna say, we pay taxes so the government can buy goods and services. I know that they have tax money that they can use. Let me edit this here, goods and services. That's one reason that might convince them. We pay taxes so the government can buy us goods and services. I think we should get more buses in our building. Okay. Um, another reason this is a problem is that some kids are getting home later. Some kids are staying after school, they have to sit in the hall, and then they get home later. I don't think those kids have as much time to get their homework done. Thank you. I'll take questions in a second. So another reason is when kids stay late, they get home late and they may not have enough time to do homework. That's a big problem. So I think if the government gives us more money for buses, we can get all the kids home on time and all the kids can learn more. So um, kids who stay late maybe don't have time for homework. I think if I tell the government this, they will be like, uh-oh, we have some kids who aren't doing their homework. Uh-oh, that's a problem. We need to think of a way to get these kids home so they can do their homework and they can learn. So this is an example. I thought of a problem. I thought of a solution, how the government can help. And I thought of two reasons, two things that will try to convince these government people, okay? That's our job today. You need to, in your work time, do slide number one, like me. And then you need to put all of your ideas on slide number two. Just type it out. Anything you wrote on slide number one, I want you to type it again on slide number two to make your paragraph. Tomorrow, we're going to continue. We'll talk about our rubric and we'll keep adding to our writing, okay? So your job today is finish slide number one, type everything on slide number two. Pretty easy peasy today, and we'll pause there. So friends on Zoom, I saw a couple of questions. I will take those now.